And I pass the floor to our Madam President, Patricia. Thank you so much to our SAA Alif for starting the meeting. We are going to do a five second countdown and get ready with your most exciting pose. Then Patsy would take a photo. Then I will do my very short opening speech. So let's do the countdown on five seconds and five, four, three, two, one. All right, big smile on everyone and wait for Patsy to take the photo. Okay, in the three, a two, a one. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much, our VPPR and all of us who are here. I'm so excited on my accord. Yes, this afternoon, this evening, this morning, certainly there are some things we need to compromise. But you know what? The power of compromise is really the power to keep us going, keep us motivated. More importantly, keep on managing the uncertainties in our lives. Right now, I can hear some feedback and maybe you can mute yourself if, let's say, you are hearing some noise from the background. Patsy, is it from your side? Oh, okay, great. See, we learn to compromise, right? In actual situation. Now, as I have mentioned, we have so many leaders here. And the leader today who volunteered, who came up with a fantastic theme, certainly is none other than our great leader. Well, British nationality, I think, have stayed in Malaysia for many years. And now he's all the way in Japan. We all know who he is. He certainly has taught us so many things. And today he's bringing you know, bring forth the power of compromise. Are you guys ready? If you are, I'd like to invite all of us to welcome our TOD, Toastmaster of the Day, Duncan, on board. Let us give him the biggest welcome by the big round of applause. And over to you, Duncan. Thank you very much indeed, President Patricia. Good afternoon, fellow advanced ardent speakers and guests. Welcome to the, I think, the 142nd meeting of ours in this centenary year for International Toastmasters International. And did you know that we, advanced ardent speakers, we are soon going to be three years old in just a few months' time. Although we might still be toddlers, even on the 14th of June when we have our anniversary, we might still be toddlers, but at least we have learned to stand up and run. Yeah. The theme today, power of compromise. I can hear you, many of you thinking, compromise? What's so powerful about compromise? Isn't that all about giving in? Compromise is probably one of the most powerful tools that we have in our arsenal in the terms of business and politics. You might hear Donald Trump say, ah, if you can't get what you want, just walk away. Or Vladimir Putin might say, oh, if I can't get Ukraine, I will just blow it to pieces. Without compromise, we end up with chaos. But with compromise, we can all move forward together. We can all mutually benefit and grow. So that's the power of compromise. Now we're going to grow today in our meeting. We have quite a we have quite an action-packed agenda for you today. We've got we start off with a speech from Distinguished Toastmaster Lai about listening and reflecting. That will be evaluated by Sanduni, Toastmaster Sanduni. And then following on from that, we're going to have, I'm sure, a very action-packed table topic session, which will be chaired by Toastmaster Savine. Now, before we kick off, let's hear a few words from, firstly, our grammarian. I'd like to invite distinguished, I'd like to invite Toastmaster Shui Sin to please introduce the word of the day. Shui Sin, Thank you please. so much, our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Duncan. So yes, everyone, I will be your grammarian today 
the grammarian is like I am grammarian plus a counter. So I will be taking notes all of your yeah uh, correct usages, good language, and of course your arms, arms, filler sounds like this. And also it's my responsibility to introduce you all with our word of the day. It is a court. I also typed in the chat box, which is now uh, the meaning is agreement or the decision, uh, the decision you make together between two groups or two people. So yeah, and here is the example sentence. The project is completely in accord with government policy. So everyone, I encourage you all to use our word of the day, accord. And if you are using it, anyone when you hear, please show our appreciation and support by showing this love emoji or celebration sign or anything. And I will be also clapping my hands when you use word of the day, accord. So now let's say together, a mutual set, and let us say together, accord. One, two, three. Accord. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Please. Thank you very much indeed. Sam. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Tracy. Now let's hear just a few. A few words from our timer, Felique. Felique, would you like to explain just a little bit about our timing system? Is Felique there? I don't see. Oh, no, Felique's not there. Look. Okay. In that case, we'll just move on. The red light is on because our new timer is none other than Patsy. Before we launch into DTM's DTM Live speech, Sanduni, could you please explain just a little bit about the purpose of his speech today? Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day, dear Duncan. So today, the uh, distinguished Toastmaster Lai is going to do his uh, fifth uh, level five project. And it, it's, it's a pleasure that he's going to complete his 11th part. And uh, the purpose of the statement purpose of the project is for the member to apply skills needed to successfully lead in a volunteer organization and for the members to share some aspects of his or her uh, his experience serving as a leader in a volunteer organization so you're going to tell the title duncan thank you very much indeed for, yeah. thank you very much indeed sanduni dtm live you're going to you're going to give us a speech entitled "Listen and Reflect." Please, the floor is all yours. When I gone through my division director role last term, it was not an easy task. Let me tell you why. I I was actually from another district, yet I go for the for the division director director role in another district. Sometimes when I reflect back on this matter, I think I'm just too daring and gung-ho at the same time. Yet, I believe if I don't try something differently in Toastmaster, maybe I won't have this kind of opportunities comes to me. When I successfully took up the role, the, the, the only connection I have there is my four area directors who are just almost has the new experience as me going up through the road. And when the first thing I can talk of, we must have a meeting with each other first. I know that, that with my zero knowledge about the new district and the division, who can I count on? The four, the four of the appointed area directors, which have more knowledge on me about the areas they are leading. And through the meeting, we had an all year long plan, what we want to do. And planning ahead makes us can speak, talk, and manage things accordingly. And what I have planned the all year is, aside from the division side, I plan my flight today for the whole year as well. And through that, <clears throat> it's not an easy task. We have a meeting with each other like every two to three months to catch up the progress. Along the progress of the sharing of the plan, sometimes there are heated arguments going on with, within the five of us. What can we do sometimes 
in this kind of situation, we, I as a division director, I put my ears to listen what are their sharings before I move on with my plan to tell them. I know I understand that they understand the situation more. But yet, if we derive sometimes we derive from the plan we plan, everything will not run well. We just need to tweak it a little to make it all together. And through that role that I learned something that I'm not actually like the like their boss actually among the five of us we foster a relationship like a mentor i'm a mentor to the four of the mentees for the area directors the only advantage i have over them is my knowledge in doing about the district whatever they needed from the toastmasters the advantage they have for me is the surrounding areas and i do learn from them back what are they lacking in the areas of course, not just the area. How I learn about their personalities, how to work with them. Those are the things that I learned as division directors. By, by understanding them, I finally understood what to be guide them, what can be work together and according to the areas. Of course, they put back their trust on me, also learn what I want. All of us have a plan in Toastmaster, what we want to achieve throughout the year. The only thing that I want from them is, I told them, make sure we must have at least eight members in every club. That's my only wish for them. And I told them, if you have any plan, achievement in the area, let me know. I will help you to succeed and achieve it accordingly to your plan. All of this was come through the words compromise with each other what we want. Of course, we want a higher, hard to achieve high. Yet, I know, understand, there are some things maybe not able. We set a plan, we move it. And through, through the guidance with them, and listen, I told them that I'm running for the trial position. I tell them, maybe on this month, I cannot be fully active within the division. Can you all handle this for me? Four of them directly said, no problem. Go ahead and move with your plan. We are here to support you. Whenever we need help, we will let you know what we want. And thanks to them, for the one whole month, I'm just focusing, focusing to go campaigning for my role. <clears throat> and... When I am done with my role, I came back to the division and they tell me everything went well. Reflecting back this was the connection we built, mentoring and mentoring, uh, mentoring each of the area directors what they want. And for course, the final things that we want that they have planned, they want to achieve at least distinguished area in the area. I said, no problem. Let's work it. Plan works. Idea works. Teamwork happens. Or you talk, we went through the last minute. And through and that point, when two of the areas achieve distinguished area, one club is almost chartered. I said, this is more than enough, as we have done more than the code. What did my four area directors say? What I'm missing actually. They told me we haven't achieved a least distinguished area. I said, that's not my plan. I don't need it. What I want is you all achieve what you all plan, plan it on. I'm just here to support. The four of them said, no, we will help you achieve at least distinguished area. Those are the things that I'm so happy that they're willing to help me on. Through their journey and through their hard work, our hard work together, we are a little bit able to achieve the select distinguished division. Now through that, when I can cut through the role, sometimes we as a leader, at least we must put our ears to listen to the idea first, plan, and move on with the plan, idea that we have, and also take time to reflect on our journey. Have we done what are we lacking, what are our strength? When we know about our weakness, we learn to improve it or make it less like a weakness. We are humans. We have our leadership inside us. 
Hence, we craft our leaders. We craft the leader inside us. Hence, humans are made. Lead humans are just human. But leaders are made through hard work, dedication, and commitment to the team. So thus, we bring us the compromise with each other. Back to you, Duncan. Thank you very much indeed, distinguished Toastmaster Lai. A heartwarming tale of compromise and accord. Now, let me please ask, invite your evaluator, Toastmaster Sanduni, to evaluate your speech. Sanduni, please. Thank you very much, Duncan. Lai, it was a wonderful speech. It was a motivational and inspirational one. There are three, three things that I can see that I would love to say about in your speech. The first thing, you had a great flow in your speech. You had a great start. You said you were divisional director, division director, and you you described how you it was how it was difficult at the start and have you gone through that in the middle and you concluded how you achieved the success through a teamwork. And I loved the way you handled your team, your area directors, and you mentioned how you listened to their ideas and came with their, uh, came up for the suggestions for the situations that ar arise at those moments. And the second thing that I loved in your speech was your speech was very clear and uh, clarified. It was so uh, mean to hear here, and we we had a great idea what you are talking about. The purpose of speech was to uh, reflect the, uh, the organization that you uh, lead. How you did that, so you clearly explain how you uh, made it and the third thing i loved you used your hand gestures well so it was it add more value to your speech and it get li life to the sp speech so you showed uh, your hands like this and uh, for the recommendations for your speech there are two recommendations you might have used uh, not used your virtual background because Sometimes your actions were blurred through uh, that. And uh, when it comes to the uh, eye level of your uh, camera, that was kind of uh, distracting. Uh, I don't know whether uh, it's it's for me uh, with something my with my uh, vision, but uh, when it comes to uh, the camera, you might use some much uh, Try practice for that. Uh, overall, it was a wonderful speech, and I loved your speech. There were so many takeaways on your speech. First one, uh, you had a great flow on your speech, and second, you had a clear vocal varieties and clear uh, content in your speech. Third one, you had so many good hand gestures, and for the improvements, you might uh, adjust your camera and uh, uh, not use your virtual background in your speech. So overall, it was a wonderful, and I got so many takeaways, and I think others also get uh, got like that. And congratulate on your completion of your uh, level five. And over to you, Duncan. Thank you very much indeed, Sanduni, for a very insightful and very detailed evaluation. And thank you again, DTM Lai, for a very entertaining and lively speech. Now we come to what I think is one of the most challenging parts of the meeting, one of the most exciting bits. We come to table topics. This is where we learn to stand up, speak on our feet. Let me introduce now our table topics master, Toastmaster Savine. Savine, would you like to introduce the table topics today? Hi, uh, good afternoon, Duncan. All right, I think I'm not the TTM. Sean will be the TTM. Oh, is it? Oh, I, I must, maybe I've got the, uh, maybe I've got an old version of the agenda up here. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay, in that case, uh, sorry, Sean. Sean, okay. you're the Are table you... topics master, I understand. Yes, so. yes. 
take it away. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Duncan. Hello, everyone. I have a test and a chat box for the today table topic question. Table topic is very special. I de designed the table topic question is very special. Just focus on the power of compliments. Com com I know many, many members come from different countries. We have a different courage, culture and we make a decision by our culture. So I just design one simple question as the follow. When you are in a situation that you need to compromise situation, just like choose one, feeling, family, work, personal need, friendship, community, fairness, what would you do and how would you feel? Please show us with your feeling. With, I am very curious about what your decide, decision for your compliments. Okay, there are five speakers. First one is every is right. Ellie, sorry. First one is Eric. Alif, Alif, he's calling Alif. you. Sorry, yeah, yeah. please. Everyone no, has two minutes, please. Thank you. So your the uh, before the timing start. So just saying that the topic will be uh if I have to compromise uh in something, what will I do? Is that uh, is that too, is that is that okay? Yes, but you can choose one of the situation, just like a feeling, family, work, person, work, or personal need, or friendship, or communication, or fantasies. Any one of you can choose. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster, Table Topic Master, Topic Master Chan. Because we have an accord in Toastmaster, the table topic, the topic master choose the topic and the speaker must follow. So I would like to say that, thank you, uh, topic master. So for me, if I had to compromise in a community, what would I do? Of course, in a simple community and uh, in every community, there exists different type of people, different age group, and different sort of belief. For example, in my community where I was uh, born, I was I was living in a Malay jung Malay kampung or a village to translate it in a Malay village, whereby my my grandparents and her siblings live in that village. So it was a nine, so nine of her siblings live in a line and I was one of the family situated in that village. So it has, the, the community has an accord that says that when there is a ceremony, a marriage ceremony or anything, the everyone will go and help the, the person that had that ceremony. It, the, the term is called gotong royong. I don't know the term in English, but it's just a community service. The, the nearest English word is community service. And so we have that uh, a court that says that we have to, we have to help, help each other in every ceremony that was held by a sibling and so that's uh, that the conclusion is that in community we have to compromise because they will help you in your needs when you needed them but in return you have to help them that's the compromise that i live in in my community with that uh, back to you our topic master shan 
Okay, thank you. Now I save my time. Direct to the Sandoni, please. Thank you very much, Sean. Actually, when it comes to our lives, there are different communities that we meet in our lifetime. First, we start with our family, then we move into our educational uh, stage, so schools, universities, or other extra things. And then we move to the society uh, with our jobs, and then something like a freedom of uh, elderlyhood. So, when we first start with our family, they are the so much closest one to our lives. Our mother, father, our siblings, and uh, maybe the neighbors, they are so close. So when we compromise them, it's so easy because they know us and we know them. And uh, in order to compromise them, we should not get much, uh, uh, we, we have, to not get much effort. But when it comes to when we go out of our home, we see that differently. It's difficult to understand them and their attitudes are different. So compromising is a little bit difficult, but when we learn to listen and just understand the situation or understanding their opinions, we can just be collaborate with them and uh, make something in common and we can um, make uh, work together and when it comes to uh, different uh, people with different knowledges different job experiences and we all are different because we are human and uh, even uh, our five fingers are different from each other so we know everything is different here and everything is changing so we have to change with the change and that will make us uh, ad adapted to the places. So I'm really happy for Sean to give this opportunity for me to talk. And we all are adapting here from different uh, areas of the world because we are compromising each other. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you. Now, the, the uh, third, third speaker, Efren, F Arifre, sorry, Arifre. The flower is you. Rifa. Sorry. Yes, yes. Arifa. Yeah, Arifa. Ah, Arifa, sorry. Um wow. Uh it's, a, it's such a creative uh, topic that to be discussed on. But since um we talk about community, I think something that closer to my heart would be friendship. So recently, I learned a lot in regards of friendship and what to compromise in friendship. And one thing that I learned, you need to compromise, is actually your time. So if you make time to your friends and compromising, you know, both of us are busy, both of us are working. I wouldn't say both, since friends, we have a lot. So all of our friends nowadays are working, some are studying, some are married, some are not. So one thing that you should compromise and to well cap your friendship is time. When you spend your time, when you allow your time, when you compromise it, friendship will work out. So this is something that I learned um, in regards of compromising and friendship. So things will work out when you make time. So that's all I, I have, to, I have um, to share in regards of friendship, compromising, and times. Back to you, Topic Master. Thank you, Arifa. Now is the uh, first speaker, Patsy. The flower is yours. So, sorry, I'm trying. I'm timer, so I'm just I'm trying to adjust my time. Okay, starting. What is a compromise? Compromise. It's a good topic. I this morning was thinking about the first thing I compromised was a compromise 
somebody upstairs call dot. Do you know why? Why do I just uh, born in a very rich, wealthy family like a dumb Donald Trump's family? If I could have been born as a rich lady, rich girl, so glamour lifestyle I have, isn't it? I could have been a celebrity, spotlight, shine every day, everywhere I go. Wow, what a life. But I was born in just a regular, regular, ordinary family. So I have to work as hard as everybody else. Am I compromising with somebody upstairs if I have no choice? But I am happy that I compromised with a God because I knew there wasn't any glamour life or being lucky as uh, somebody else. So by working hard all my way for 65 years, see, where I am today, I am still a happy individual. Well, a rich is not a, a very happy person if you don't know the meaning of happiness. So by compromising with somebody upstairs, I made my way out. I'm proud to pour to my life. Beautiful word of compromise. Back to you, session master. Okay, thank you. The next one is Thomas. Thomas, are you there? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Can, can you speak louder? I actually using a wireless mic actually, but this mic is a bit of a problem because I try. I just speak quite my loudest voice. Is it too soft or is it too? We can uh, hear you. It's okay. Yes. Just uh, please proceed. Thomas. We can hear you. Try us. Yeah. Okay. Talking about compromise. For my personal opinion is that um, it's a friendship that I think uh, a lot of times I have to really sacrifice a lot and the things are because we try to make a connection with people around us and the time is we don't want to like in a sense disappointing the people around that we care about and often time that we make a decision it really connects to we what do we gain in return and sometimes it's not aligned to what we want and therefore we decide whether do we accept what is their request or do we try to accommodate what they want us to do. So as in a friendship, of course, we are willing to give that uh, to do whatever that we can help each other. That's what it comes with a friendship. Because in, in friends, there are things that we do. We, um, we give in out of our willingness and to help people, right? So, uh, I believe one of the things that we compromise about in this area is the time, money, because we all have a limited resource in this. So, it determines how you want to actually balance out your work life and your free time. Oftentimes, you cannot decide how you want to spend your weekend or how you want to come even to the Toastmaster. So, this is a thing that our society but we support the things that we do to be able to maintain the balance of friendships, works, or even the things that close family that we try to maintain. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's all for now. Thank you so much. Back to you. Have a topic, Master. Uh, thank you. And uh, Patsy, do I have a time? Hi, the time's up. Okay, thank you for everyone. Back to the Duncan Toastmaster of the today. Thank you. Duncan, you need to Duncan, you need to speak. I'm muted. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> yes, it's, thank you very much indeed to to you, Sham, for what I thought was quite an interesting and unusual table topics. We haven't done it that way before. Very good. And I think we're all pretty much in accord with one, with one another, all of the speakers, me too, that yeah, compromise is pretty powerful, pretty important. Now, let's just vote. I, I see the voting screen up now. So please cast your votes. And then once you've done that, I will invite our table topics evaluator, Toastmaster Servine, to please give it a go. This is probably one of the most challenging parts of the entire program. Servine, it's all yours. Thank you so much, our Toastmaster of the day, John Kern. I thank you, uh, Sanjani, uh, give me a crack. <laughs> all right. Okay, this is uh, my first. Uh, however, I hope, okay. Okay, the first speaker, Nai. Wow, Nai. Hey, no, sorry. Here, the first is Alif. Uh. Alif. <laughs> okay. What I like about Alif is he's very stable, very calm, very confident. First of all, um, the questions from the Toastmaster of the day um, is uh, quite general, okay? He give the one so-called, one topic, but can be applied to all of the speakers. This is the group from the TTM. But however, the questions here is quite general. So I, I believe that Alif is going to start with a um, clarify. So this is a good part for the speaker. If they're not sure about the topics, then you know he start with clarifying. Then only he start his uh, speech. So this is a good good part of um, Alif doing. And what I learned from Alif is um what he made the centers of the community. At the same time he apply his uh, own kampung words, uh, which is called Gotong Royong. As a Malaysian, so long I do not know the meaning of the Gotong Royong. So so today I learned from Alif. So good of that. Okay. <laughs> So how many of you learned this word, Duncan? How about you? <laughs> I heard it before, but I didn't really know what it meant. <laughs> wow. Okay, good. So, um, Alif's speech has a opening, have body, and have end, which is a, this part he's doing very, very well, and he came with the uh, conclusion as well. He didn't forget about conclusion. So all the speech are very important with the conclusion. So, um, and there's only one area of improvement for Alif is, Okay, I believe Alif is looking at, at everyone of us, lah, huh? but what you can do is, um, you know, this is maybe so-called the negative part of the online, huh? even including me as well, when I see you all, actually I do the eye co uh, conversation with you all, but which you don't really catch me, right? So only when I see the camera now, okay? So this part, maybe we all have to notice on that. Alif, when we are doing the speech, try to focus on the cam. Only when you need the interaction with us, then you only uh, see at the, you know, your so-called your computer. All right. Okay. So the next speaker, Sanduni. Wow. This beautiful lady. I like your smiling face. This will show your strength. As a speaker, I believe when you start speak with smile, you know, with your smiling face, you will easily catch not only guys' eyes, also catch all the ladies' eyes. <laughs> so this is the beauty part of you. And you show us your confidence when you speak, you speak with very fluent. And okay, one thing I see you doing very well is you use the metaphor with what? With your five fingers. All right, remember which area? You say that, um, okay, the five fingers is making all of us different. So this one is really easily to bring us inside your topic. And this is really well part of you are doing, use the five fingers, it's simple and easy. All right, then also you end with your gratitude. Wow, very beautiful, uh, Sanjuni. And okay, for every speech, there's a conclusion as well, and you did that. So the room of improvement for you, this area is only one. Give some, okay, give some space while you are talking, especially when you want to like give five fingers, right? Just hold on your five fingers and then see how many of us, I mean, just make a space first. You know where the space, which means you hold on, don't continue your speech. Let people see at you first, not only you continue. Okay, you know why doing that? Because of speaker, we need to catch our uh, our audience attention. Regardless how good you speak, if let's say your audience didn't pay you attention, then the speech is equal to nothing. So catching audience attention is very important. So sometimes you need to apply some pause at that part. All right, the next speaker, Arifa. 
Wow, another Arifa is like a Sandoni as well. Speak with a smiling face. This one I really like it, and she's also very beautiful to me. So, uh, speak with confidence, and she made the point as well. Got the opening, got the body, and got the ending. And um, because I really enjoy your speech, all right. So, uh, not much on on your uh, uh good area on okay. So similar like what earlier like uh Sandoni lah, what you did, and the room of improvement for you is um. Leverage your time. Okay, this one is I really feel a little bit regret. You see, now it's green color. I won't stop at green color. I will continue to talk until when? Until yellow color. Okay, for the um, you you just you just need to learn the TT. How to say table topic need how long? From there, when you see the green color, actually you still got time to continue to speak. So maybe what you can do not ending at green color, but make your conclusion. All right, make your conclusion. So uh, leverage time your time more on that. Okay, then the next one will be. Who is the next one? Huh? Who can help me? <laughs> I forgot to write your name. Eh? Patsy. Patsy. Are you, you yes. see Patsy? How come I can forget your name? Eh? You know why? Because you when you start, you already caught my attention. You know Patsy. Okay, you are fulfilling. What we can all learn from Patsy is uh, her facial expression is very, very, um, I would say it's very perfect, you know. Okay, very perfect. You see, um, Okay, I don't know how to explain this one. Maybe you all can uh, make her on your screen and then focus more on how she express herself. She really using a lot of her facial expression. And she start beginning with the question. You know, question is very important. Why? Because when she start with question, right, she easily caught our audience attention on what she's going to say next. And then at the same time, we also think about what she's asking and then we come out the answer. So she really caught all this uh, so-called speaker, uh, you know, uh, how do I say, the the essence of the speaker needs, huh? she really did that. And her topic also interesting. One thing I like about Pessy is she sharing about her, she couldn't, she really compromised with a difficult uh, so-called neighbor. However, I noticed my time is uh, really, really okay. I <laughs> finish it. Okay, um, so Pessy, okay, there's a, I would say there's only one thing I would like to learn from you. This should, could be your room of improvement or could be your good part, but I would like to hear this one. Since all of us have a difficult so-called neighbor or someone be difficult to deal, we would like to know from you, how are you going to deal with these people, compromise with these people, especially at your age of 65, which doesn't look alike, you're able to carry your smiling face and happy life. Share with us how you compromise with these difficult people. All right. So thank you, uh, Pessy. And next is uh, the last one will be Tommy's. Thomas, all right, Thomas is our guest. Okay, um, usually I won't really give more uh, suggestions, but since you are the guest, maybe I share more with you. Okay, can Thomas? Okay. All right, this is the speaker ingredients uh, just for you. Okay, um, for your side audio, definitely you already explained there's uh, some issue from your side, so this one doesn't uh, affect it. Okay, uh, but anyway, since uh, we are doing so-called online, so we have to just notice our audio. Lah, huh? Next time when you prepare whatever, just do your best to prepare your audio. And then uh, at the same time, your cam level, I could see your cam level is from bottom to up. Yes. Yep. So do your best. Yes. Do your best to adjust to your eye level. So same like my camera. So how I did is I put a, you know, I just put something same, how to say, hijack, uh, then up to the cam, um, to my eye level. Maybe what you can do is go to Google search and check it out and see how to make your cam to your eye level. So you can work on that. But yeah, later, uh, next time, I will, I will adjust myself first, then I will see to it. Yes, yes, yes. And in the, like what you said, high level. Sure, very good. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. People say successful people is always take immediate action. Huh? Okay, very good on that. And then um, what you did is uh, I, I could hear your sharing with your heart. Okay, I really enjoy it. It's only maybe your audio, so I, I don't really cut much. And what my suggestion to you is try to make your ending with conclusion. Because mm. you up sudden you smile and then you just uh, say, okay, my sharing up to here. So yes, I, I hear your sharing, but if can you try to make your sharing with one phrase to conclude your whole sen uh, your whole sharing. So that will be uh, much better okay, for us to catch what you're going to share. All right. So thank you so much, Thomas. And back to you, Duncan. Thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much indeed, Sabine, for a very lively and quite personal evaluation. Everybody got individual advice i thought that was very good thank you very much indeed Servine. and thank you again sean for your for your intriguing and novel table topics today that brings us on now to 
the general evaluations that we're going to have. First of all, we're going. I'm going to. I'm going to turn to our grammarian and our counter, Shui Sin. Shui Sin, how did we all do today? Thank you so much, our Toastmaster of the day. So hello everyone. Uh, congratulations today. I got to learn a lot, a lot from all of our speakers today. So now let's start from the good language. First, I learned uh, planning ahead can manage things accordingly. So yeah, uh, planning is really important skill and even we do have a pathway about planning. So thank you for this great uh, sentence. And next is from Toastmaster Ali. He said, in community, we have to compromise. So yeah. And next is, uh, you all achieve what you all plan. So everyone, if you have the plan, uh, we can achieve it uh, maybe one day or another day. So plan ahead, everybody. And the next thing is, leaders are made from hard work, dedication, and commitment from DTM Live. Thank you so much. Uh, this is very, very beautiful quote. And next uh, is the improvement uh, from some of the speakers. Most of the speakers use like, I come back, something like this. But the subject is about the past. So for the past, we always need to use uh, past tense. So please be mindful that to use past tense when you are talking about the past event. And next is for me, uh, that I really appreciate uh, for that and for me to talk. So to tell, to plus infinitive verb. So you have to use to tell. Yeah. And next is uh, one speaker say, where am I today? Uh, it's a question. So the uh, where I am today. So it's a question. We have to go with question word, helping verb, subject. So uh, the correct sentence is, where am I today? And here, this is my R counter report. Uh, DTM line use on uh, two times. Um, Santoni use R eight times, there three times. Toastmaster Aripa use so three times. Toastmaster Sabine use so four times and on um, five times. Yeah, and Percy use word of the day so one time. Uh, sorry if I didn't hear word of the day when you use so. That's all my report, everyone. Congratulations for your great achievement and great speeches today. Back to you, uh, Toastmaster Duncan. Thank you very much indeed, Shui Sin. Yes, I'm certainly in accord with your comments on grammar, but I, I have to I have to admit, I don't remember things like subject, word, infinitive. I have to go back to my dictionary, find out what they mean. <laughs> I'm a native speaker, so you don't learn these things at school. You at least we forget them. Thank you very much indeed. Now, we have a stand-in timer today. Patsy. Please, could you provide us with your timer's report? Great. It's my honor to serve you as uh, the very last minute timer. As a matter of fact, I'm happy to be here, especially, you know, my time is uh, still in Canada. Hi, hi, Zoom. All right. All the speakers are pretty much well done. And DTM Live took seven minutes and 20 seconds. Well, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Sandoni, the evaluator of our speaker, he took three minutes and eight seconds. Great. For all oh, the table topic speakers, uh, the first, uh, I leave two minutes and the 28 seconds. Wow, okay, the border, you're... Oh, it just almost over time. My heart was in my mouth. It was all oh, leave, leave. Okay, great. And Sandoni, the second table topic speaker, took two minutes and 16 seconds. Arifa, you took one minute, 27 seconds. Patty, well, I think she took two minutes, 15 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Thomas, our guest, one minute and 57 seconds. It's good. For the table topic, evaluator, 
the ring is supposed to only take six minutes, but today it was so special for you as well as for our guests. So the total time you took was eight minutes and forty seconds. And we met Arian. So, uh, Susie, you're supposed to speak for four minutes according to your agenda, but you only took two minutes for twenty-five seconds. I think you take a the you know the it was called compromise with Serving's time, which was a great strategy. And for timer, me, I think I'm. I have taken more than two minutes, but I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, because uh, well, when the cat is not here and mouse start to play, to Duncan. Thank you very much indeed for a very entertaining report, timers report from Patsy. Yes, and well done because Patsy stepped in at the last minute because the official timer wasn't able to attend today. So thank you very much indeed. Thinking on your feet, that's what it's all about. Table topics, Toastmasters, and all that. I think we... Hello? I was going to yeah. say. Okay. I think it's time now for us to... I think, we, should we reveal the results of our voting on the, on the table topics winner? Do we have those results yet? Have they been have they been collected? Uh, yes, but usually Patricia would uh, the would do a bit of guest feedback first. So let's hear oh, from okay, guest feedback first. Is it? Okay. Well, in that case, we'll we'll do that. We'll do the we'll do the results later. So in that case, we do have a guest today. Thomas, are you there? Would you like to provide us with your opinions on today's meeting? What you learned? What did you get from it, or anything you'd like to say? Any any advice you would like to give to us? Oh, it is okay. okay good. Um, I wasn't able to listen much, but overall, it's very good. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's all from me. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Very right. much. Short but concise. That's what we should be sometimes in business. Brief, concise, to the point. Thank you very much indeed, Thomas. Now, okay, we've had a little bit of fever. We've got, we've got a bit of time. Perhaps anybody else want to say something? Any of our members? Anybody have any comments about uh, today's meeting? I, I can. Can I say something? I would yeah, please go ahead. Alif, the yeah. topic By session today. I like that. Even though Shan did it so simple, he mm -hmm. gave out the topic before with all the things that we need to do. Even that. We all, I think most of the speakers, me, especially myself, tumble during his topic. So I like that part. It was simple. He goes back to the basic of table topic. He just say the topic. He just pick the name. He doesn't say, he, he doesn't wait for people to say, oh, I volunteer, everything, just pick. And that's when people stumble. So I like the part. He goes back to the basic. Yes, I have to admit, sometimes it's, yeah, you when you're put on the spot, there's many times in in our lives, in our business, when you're put on the spot and you have to say something. And without that practice that you get in table topics, sometimes it can be really tough. For example, when, when on my wedding day, I was asked to give a speech in Japanese. I was not prepared for it at all. I did I did very badly, but at least I was able to stand up and say a few words. So if I had been, if I had had practice in table topics, I'm pretty sure I would have done a much better job. Anybody else with any any comments other than Alif and me? <laughs> uh, hello, Duncan. Can I speak? Yeah, Sean. Yes, actually, I am very curious for everyone in different cu culture what what they do for the compliment compliments. Also, I want to ask about the Duncan. What will you do? Because you you always smile. I feel you you are a good complimenter. And <laughs> also, I want to ask Lyle. Could you give me some reports? Thank you very much. You are asking Lyle for a report. And and you, what 
what your answer for the table topic? My answer to table topics. Oh, yes. if I start now, I'll go on for ten minutes. <laughs> but com compromise. We we all have to we all, we all have to compromise. I think in everything that we do. But one of the key things I think about compromise, and this was this I I got it from one of the one of the table topic talks. I'm not sure. I can't remember which one it was. But in compromise, especially within a family, you have to compromise within limits. You've got a limit, yeah. And within that limit, you compromise. But outside that, outside those limits, you can't compromise anymore. So you have to you have to learn that. You have to understand that. And I think that's very important, not just in family, but also in business and in our relationships around. So yeah, compromise, I think, within limits is very important. Lai, do you have any anything to say on that? Yeah, sure. La, like what you mentioned, compromising within among in a society family. It's an important things. Of course, we all have our own ideas what we want to do. If we are one person, of course we can. We always but we need to think that there are always a group of people, a community, a group of friends that we want to achieve, we want, want to do something. Of course, there are many ideas. I mentioned listen to the ideas, group the ideas together, find a solution as we try to compromise. We may not be able to satisfy everyone, yet we are at least able to compromise within the situation that we have, of course. And like we are here, we are all like here learning together. What's your story of compromise within each other's of community? Like Sanduni has shared, Thomas has shared, Ali has shared. All we have in different, different kind of situation where we have to learn to compromise. Of course, we look for solution. We don't look for troubles. <laughs> That's how I said things. We compromise with each Thank other. Thank you very much indeed, DTM Lai. Actually, we're running out of time a little bit. So let's let's have the announcement of the winner of the table topics, please, Alif. <clears throat> and the winner of the table topics is please. Rum roll. It's Patsy. Oh. Patsy. Oh. Well done, Patsy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. In Thank you. Timer, the Thank you timer so much. And winner. Oh, <laughs> well Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take a photo of uh, this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, Patsy, can, can I ask, can we have? You and Swissin for like the, the that, highest person right now available. Definitely VPE, please. Okay, uh, great. Go. All right, I am going to count one and two and three. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks. And I think Thanks. we have time for a quick group photo. Yes. Yeah. So let's That's, let's all let's all, just all turn on our cameras and have a quick group photo. Okay. Uh, just one moment. Acknowledge all the rule takers. Uh, let's rule have takers. A photo of oh yeah. Thank you. Rule. Yes. Thank you to everybody. Okay. Thank you, speaker, let's... speech evaluator, topics master. Okay. Yeah, so I five, think we're all we got everybody um, now, right? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's thank have, you very let's much. Let's have everybody. a good photo also because everyone okay. is taking a role except Thomas. So let's just add Thomas. He's yes. Took a role there you today. go. This will be okay. our group photo. Okay. Excellent. I think Lai left. Yeah, I'm here. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. One, two, three. Smile. Yeah. Well done, guys. Okay. Thank you. Great. And Ooh. Then we're gonna have have another one for the group photo, right? Yeah, why not? Let's keep going. Uh, all right. Go. Just, I think... Okay, just one second. I'm going to have a group photo of everyone. It by the way, compromise everything so far, you know, from the day one we born and the to today, where we are, we should cherish and celebrate and that this a beautiful Monday. So let's have a group photo together. Yep. Um, okay. Yeah. 
I'm going to calm down this one, okay? Have a beautiful smile. It's a, it's a beginning of the week. Um, one, two, and three. Thank you. Oh, excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, well, that it is 2.30. It is 2.30. Yes, it's one May I do that nonsense speech? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's 1.30. Uh, yeah. Oh, so 2.30 in you. Japan. Nihon no, Nihon no Jikan wa ni, Niji Han desu yo. One thirty in Malaysia. And I don't know what time is it in Myanmar now, Tristan? Uh, it is, yeah, 12 now. Yeah. 12 o'clock. One minute okay. uh, over. Yeah, time, time, Thank time you so much lunch. to our Toastmaster of the day, all the way from Japan. So everyone, let's give a round of applause for his, <laughs> the greatest effort and, of course, greatest facilitation for the whole meeting. Thank you so much to each and everyone who joined us today. And yes, the power of compromise. So let's practice in our real life also. And we really love your support, energy, and of course, like uh, stay in the meeting for the whole time. So congratulations to the winner, uh, Toastmaster Patsy. You always inspire us. And thank you to our speaker, DTM Live, for always amazing uh, speeches. And of course, like uh, all the road takers. So thank you so much. And yeah, our next meeting will be on March 11th. So if you want to take any role, every role is still open. So come join us again and then take the role and let's, uh, yeah, let's grow together, everybody. So now we will adjourn the meeting officially. Yeah, thank you so much. And also do our president pet also. So yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. No, I don't, I don't know.